Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Circadian Dice, a roguelike dice builder that I have only ever heard glowing, glowing 10 out of 10 reviews for, despite the fact that it does very much have like a programmer art kind of a presentation. So what that tells me is that this is probably a, hopefully, we'll, we'll get into it today and we'll, we will see if this is the case. This is hopefully a game where the mechanics are so strong uh, and, and in depth that it carries the entire thing. So I'm excited to get into this and check it out because if you are interested in this, this is another one of the games that I have uh, found on itch.io. So if you want to play this, it is a pay what you want. You can play this game for free. You can pay money to help support its development as well. But there'll be a link at the top of the description if you want to go and check it out. You can uh, you can start playing for free and you can chip in uh, chip in money if you're enjoying it. But for now, let's go get into it. I think you're going to have to go in with the right headspace knowing about the developer, or the, the, the programmer art kind of system. Without, wait, oh. Without favoring or opposing, it imposes change. In, uh, wait. But the raging river of time has been corrupted. Uh, the once unraveling flow of consequence has become trapped in an endless vortex of repetition. No matter how the day ends, it always begins the same. The leaves that fell to the ground reappear on the trees, and those who met an untimely demise stir up only once to, oh, but today in the blurry stream of people that set out from their homes to unknowingly repeat their daily chores, in this unnatural passage of infinite time, a tiny whisper is heard throughout the malicious cycle's endlessly reverberating echo, and seven heroes listen at different corners of the realm, but they do something they have not done in an eternity. Where they've always gripped their quill, they instead raise their shield. What they have endlessly practiced, they finally put to the test. Where they've always doused their bonfire, they have stoked the fr they've stoked the flames. Where they've always lifted their stein, they lift their axe. They're going through all seven here, I assume. What they've always preserved, they reawaken. Where disharmony reigns, they bring balance. What they have diligently studied, they pursue. They make their first tiny deviation from the endlessly unbroken ritual. A first step towards finding the cycle's foul source. In we shall go. Oh, see this? Oh! Alright, let's get into it. I click story, not start game. Okay, here we go. Alright, here. So, let's go, pro let's probably go for the tutorial first. Looked like there was tons of different types of challenges there, so let's check this out. Welcome to Circadian Dice. This game is all about dice. Your dice are used to gain resources and defeat enemies. You start each scenario with two six-sided dice. This is what you have rolled on your first turn. Oops. Oh, shoot! The first wave only has a single... I was trying to click the, the settings up there to turn down the music. Let's practice... Uh, okay, as a single scarecrow, let's practice using your dice to defeat it. This current roll isn't very useful. The reroll button shows how many rerolls you have left this turn. Click on it to reroll. Much better. This okay. With this roll, we can attack for one damage and gain one gold. Click the keep button or a roll dice face to keep the roll. Now click and drag the sword onto the scarecrow to attack it. Easy enough. Now the scarecrow has one more health, but you can't do more right now. Click the next button to end your turn. And click. Try to defeat the scarecrow this turn. Okay, if we're trying to defeat it this turn, obviously we'll want to re-roll, try and find damage. Goodbye. When all enemies are defeated or you run out of turns, the wave ends. Press the next turn to get a reward before facing the next wave. Okay. Gain one streak and score 70 points. We're doing well, so let's choose the score reward. The faster you defeat a wave, the more points you get. Choose score reward several times in a row to get a streaking bonus. You can upgrade a dice at almost any time. Each upgrade changes two faces on a die. Try buying an upgrade from the shop. You have enough gold to buy one of them, so choose freely. You can mouse over a dice face to get more information. Health gain. Okay, so this is... What? Okay, so you can upgrade your dice at almost any time. Each changes two faces on a die. Uh, changes two faces. Okay, we have four bucks. We could get big money, big sword. 
Ah, good choice. You can rotate the upgrade with space. The middle mouse button or by left clicking anywhere except on a die. Try installing it on your die at the mark. Oh my god, this... Okay, all right, all right. I that 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 is an exciting thing right there for sure. Uh, trying the strategic axes of interaction of seeing that right there is very exciting. Uh, great for each gold you spend on upgrades, you get one experience point XP. You also get XP from defeating enemies, real enemies, not these dummies. When you get enough XP, you gain a level and get a new ability, a new die, or more health. So we have more. Ah, we get straight up new dice over there. I see. When you buy an upgrade. A new upgrade is added to the shop. At the end of each turn, the upgrade at the bottom is removed from the shop, and a new one is added at the top. Okay. Relatively straightforward enough. It's just cycling cycling out slowly. So if there's something there that we really want, we gotta go for it quick. Now let's try using an ability. You need gems to use abilities. Shield, ba shield Bosh costs one blue gem to use and allows you to hit enemies with your shields. It allows you to hit enemies with your shields if you reroll. Okay. Straightforward enough. Now use your shield to attack the Scarecrow. How much damage does it do? Two? Is that what it's saying? Oh, each ability has a limited amount of charges. Every time you use it, you spend one charge. When you run out of charges, you lose the ability. I'm I, I am into it already. So, so we can click that. We can get our money. Good. All right. So we can gain a gem so that we can utilize our abilities more. Or we can gain two gold, or we can keep going with our streak, which gives us points. So, okay. So when defeating enemies wave, you may choose to gain score. Uh, so you gain score, ba 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 ba. I don't know why we... Uh, the big thing is, I don't know why we want score yet. Whoops, maybe we shouldn't have wrecked those scarecrows. These birds seem like bad news. Each crow will attack for two damage at the end of our turn. But each shield you keep will... Each shield you keep reduces damage from every, every attack during a turn by one. Keep an eye on your health. If it ever reaches zero, you die. That does make sense. So if we click one of these, that, that counts as us keeping it. Let's try. I feel like they're trying to set up a, a shield situation. Okay. So we, we picked up the, the diamond. Your current white gems... Your current blue gem. So, holy light. What is this? Increase your max health by two and gain seven health. Okay. So, it's like a little bit of a... A little bit of a way to make ourselves tankier over the course of time. So, this is... I, there's clearly seven different character classes. I've heard that they all play wildly differently from each other. Uh, so, I guess this is kind of like the holy paladin tank kind of a character. So, theoretically, we should have only taken two damage, did we? Yes. Okay. All right. The systems are making enough sense to me already, then. Uh, do I want to take two damage? You know what? Let's do it. We get a kill. Oh, we got enough experience to level up there. Strategic retreat. Increase your shield by one. Gain one gold and two health for each shield you have. But only can be used after keeping a die. It uses one of these and one of those. Or add two heart symbols to target non-trap die face. I don't know. I'm assuming the heart die are just like, if we roll them, we heal. Well, let's keep that as an option. I don't know if we're going to go for it, though, but let's go in on the aggro there. We'll let this turn happen, and then we'll use our holy light. So we're up to 22, and we, and we healed up totally fine. Nice. Okay. Five turns left. So we have two gold. We might want to consider upgrading our dice with something else. Okay, yes, there, there is always a strategic decision you can make here. It is, it is seeming right now, for sure. Uh, this does seem like a very good die. I don't know what a key does, though. Unlocks chests and doors. Okay. Um, I don't want to get rid of all my money gain. So I'm trying to figure out where to put this. We could put it right here on the bottom, and it's just, like, obviously a straight-up upgrade. There's no no two ways about it. It's also the same on the top, though. Yeah, this is just... This is just super an upgrade. All right, let's go for it. Uh, shield bash. Bring it on. 
Let's get some XP as our reward this time. At level 3, you get your third die, so getting there quickly is usually a good idea. Oh my god. You gained a die, click anywhere to continue. Yeah, that that is huge. What is a trap? Try to successfully capture an enemy in this die. What? What? Try to capture an enemy in this die. On successful capture, this face becomes blank. A failed capture increases capture chance. What are you talking about? Um, we could go for money. I, I definitely want to re-roll this. I feel like we can do something better. Um... Should we just take the L, basically? This is, this is gonna be so much damage, though. Okay, well... We'll take that. We get a kill. Treasure chest. That bird you killed was carrying a chest. You can open chests by reducing their health to zero or by using a key. But they only remain for one wave and disappear at the end of the turn if no hostile enemies remain. This shim this shimble shows if the enemy will drop a chest when defeated. Okay. So we don't have the ability to actually take that out in time. Unless it means next turn. Increase your shield by one, then gain one gold and two health for each shield. We could do that to reduce the amount of damage we take. I feel like it's just... Let's just... Let's deal with it for now. I would like a way to... Ooh, let's go for it. We'll go for it. Uh, okay, so it, it, it lasts until next turn. This treasure chest has a lot more HP, though. I don't really see a world where we are going to be able to take that one out in time. I mean, we could shield bash and blast that. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a little bit of time to, to generate some some value. We could take this and put it down here. Replace these two in a situation where... Also, what the hell is this? Fang attack! Okay. Deal damage equal to the attack of the enemy captured in this die. Okay. If there's no captured enemy, each fang deals one damage. Okay, so if we capture it, effect while well captured. Effect while well captured, gain one gold when you deal two plus damage with an attack on this die. On this die. Okay, so each capture will be its own unique special thing. Gotcha. Did I ever turn the music down? I got so entranced. God, I, yeah, I, uh, this, this is tickling my strategic fancy. Um, so to speak. There we go. I don't know. Maybe we should go for something else a little more bold. Maybe we should s try and replace some gold so we have, like... I don't know, though. Because couldn't you, like, put yourself in a situation where... We could all, we could totally kill this crow also, by the way. Uh, couldn't we get ourselves into a situation where we, like, stop gaining money? Well, I guess no, because you can get money always at the end of the turn. Gotcha. So, it looks like we already have five stars. Higher scores give more stars. Stars are used to unlock levels, classes, and relics. Okay. It, what What's really amazing about this is that, in theory, this game should be incredibly complicated. But, I don't feel like anything's been lost in translation yet. Which is really... I... I'm like kind of at a loss for how that's happened, where I feel like I totally get I totally get every aspect of what they've told me so far. This bunch of crows are really fast. You only have two turns to defeat them. If the if there are enemies left, when the turns for a wave run out, they disappear, but they add fear equal to their attack. When your fear reaches ten, you lose. That's really nice. Okay, so there's like actually a little bit of a um a little bit of a flexibility in the fail state. So... Okay. Add fear equal to their attack. So if they all ran away, they would add six fear. So to an extent, we can let a certain amount of them get away. You can use this trap to try and capture an enemy in its die. The chance of success, uh, successful capture is reduced by 10% for each health the enemy has. If it fails, it gets bonus a bonus to future capture attempts. I mean, I could lower it. 
Okay, it's not letting me lower it. I guess probably because it's scripted and it's going to be guaranteed. A trap can only be used to capture one enemy. Once the trap has been su used successfully, its face becomes blank. Blank faces are useless, so they are good spots to install upgrades. Each enemy you capture has a special ability that either happens once when you capture it or gives you a bonus for his... So it's kind of like a... Uh, it, it turns an enemy into a passive item, effectively. Mouse over the captured enemy to see what it does. Gain one gold and deal two plus damage with an attack on this die. So we have, we have a clear goal now to upgrade this die with as many ways to do two plus damage uh, as we can. So, like, getting this on on this die would be really good. What is Holy Light again? Okay. Alright, well, obviously, I think we should do that. Bring it on. Last turn! The Fang Lex, your captured enemy attack. The Crow captured in the die has two attacks, so the Fang will do two damage. If you had no captured en uh, enemy, it would do one. Okay. Gain one gold and do two plus damage. So it should do two plus damage. Oh, okay. So it, it, it's not telling me that I have to do that, but I'm, I am going to. So the crow attacked the crow. Let's go. Next. I feel like there's no point in going for more score because it looks like we're at five stars. This is the tutorial boss. He's pretty tough. Bosses must be defeated before the turns run out. Otherwise, you lose. Okay. So this kind of feels sort of like um, that system in like Astronarch where... There's, there is flexibility and non-concrete fail states all the way up until the boss, but if you fail at the boss, you do lose anyways, which is good. That's the, I, I really like that system. I loved that system in Astronarch, even. Uh, and I, this, So this came first, though, to be honest. Uh, the boss's shield reduces the damage of your non-piercing attacks by one. Try using arrows, strong hits, or a trap to defeat him. But also, his attacks are piercing, so your shields will not protect you. Try your best to defeat this boss. If you fail, you can try the tutorial again or move on to real adventures. Remember that your holy light ability can save you if your health runs low. Okay, and we, and we do have that. Alright, um... I kind of like the idea of using this turn to stockpile up all of this. It's not, it's not great, but, like, we can, uh, next turn, strategic retreat, increase your shield by one, gain one gold and two health. Yeah, I feel like, let's just, let's just let this turn happen. It's gonna look really bad, but now we have our ability to do the holy light here, if we so choose. I feel like we could do better. We, we did, we did our one riskless turn. Okay, uh, I'm good with this. So none of these attacks actually would hurt the boss. And I'm going to do Holy Light now. Get herself up to 21 out of 20... Or 21 and 24? We could Shield Bash to do one damage. Increase your shield by one. Then gain one gold to health. Free shield you have. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's do it. So that put us at full. Gave us three bucks. We can upgrade our dice even further. Um... What seems like a really, like, really good idea is doing this. Level up. Max HP increased by three. Okay. Bring it on. Gang, if... If this game... Had... Like, I want to make this clear. If this game had... Like, a killer design team on it... And they presented the visuals, like, in a super polished way... Like, they had a great sound team, great visual team... This would be massive. This game would be massive. I can't express that enough. I cannot express how clever this game feels. Uh, I I am uh, I am ever, I, I I did not expect that I would that this would not be the case. But I'm just like I'm super impressed by this game so far. Open chest score down and away bonus. We got all kinds of stuff. So we got a new class high score, new scenario high score. So I, I do also know that there is a traditional, a more traditional roguelike mode that you unlock after you go through like the main, uh, the main progressions here. I think the best way to think about it is if you play Dicey Dungeons, uh, from what I gather. So like each character has their own like missions that you go through and there's all kinds of different uh, extras and benefits 
that you can uh, or extras and different challenges you can take on but then once you've reached a certain level you unlock the mode that is kind of like infinitely replayable uh just to make that clear how that kind of goes out so new scenario unlock the vampire nest we unlock the bottomless pouch start with four max health heart symbols on your dice restore two health instead of one or gain one gold at the end of every wave uh, can we switch off of the cleric? No, we need seven stars to unlock that. We have five because we got five out of five stars. Understandable. This makes complete sense. Uh, page one, page two. Okay. So we'll go for the bandit raid, but let's get our thing there. Oh, it also suggests relics. Oh, well, that's nice too. Bandit raid. I think we go for it. I don't think there's anything else we have to click here. All right, so I imagine, yes. Oh my God, the music. Ba, 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 ba. Show the known enemies in future waves. Okay, so after we do this multiple times. Oh, that's I really like that. So we go through this the first time. We don't know what's coming. But the second time, we don't have to have like a little notebook where we, we wrote it down. It'll just tell us exactly what's coming. I also wasn't expecting new music. Bro. Okay, so... I kind of like the idea of going for this. I did really like... I did really, really like Holy Light there. Wait, we started with... Wait, we started with Heart Pendant? Shoot, I thought I started with the other thing. That's okay. We can we can make use of that. We can make use of that. We'll just have to build around it. But we can... That's a thing we can do. I kind of want to reroll and see if I can get money, if I'm being honest. Well, that's fine, too. I'll take a double kill. Because I would like to get one of those capture things. 50% chance to add a temporary attack to the rolled face when keeping this die. 50% chance to add a temporary attack to the rolled face when keeping this die. Oh, the, the rolled face of the thing with the fang on it. So 50% chance to also add one attack onto it. Okay. It seems like a fine ability. It's a very weak li little son of a gun, so I would imagine it's not too too great anyways. The big thing is I'm trying to decide if I should grab this or not. We have a couple turns to decide, I suppose. This is a, a hot reroll right there. Treasure chest. Oh, nice. Okay, so the treasure chest provide us, uh, provided us with quite a bit of that. Good stuff. Um... What to replace? What do I want to replace? If we had the gain gold at the end of every turn situation, choose an ability plus two charges for holy light. Ooh. Or double all gold, gain, gold earned for the rest of this turn. Oh, that's tough. Uh, I mean, holy light and shield bash are both really good already. I almost feel as though it makes more sense to just make it so we can use that more. You know? Uh, gain 5 XP. Aspect of healing. Add 2 heart symbols to the not target non-trap die face. Here's the thing. Oh my god! Look at that! What the hell? Okay, we don't need this. If we're, if we're gonna have that, like... But if we add that to a die and we like take up something like this... It is good, but that puts us in a situation where we get a massive heal every once in a while. Like a crazy massive heal instead of any kind of sustain. So if there's any kind of burst from an enemy, then we're banking on RNG to keep ourselves alive. Which does not sound fantastic. But gain one streak and 50 score. Four turns left. We could. We could. I feel like gaining the experience is a good call, though. Let's do it. I would like to get that, though, I think. All right, we have two re-rolls. He has a piercing attack. What would be my ideal rule? Attacks on this die are piercing. That, I, I like the idea of that. If I can get the capture, that'd be great. It's a one in six though, so. Uh, one more. Not what I was hoping. Okay, we do have a free restock, but this looks so tempting. Alright, was it 70% chance? 
Nice. Okay, so we got him. So all the attacks on this die are completely piercing. What the hell's this? Unrollable. This... Oh! Unrollable. This face cannot be rolled. So it turns... It basically turns the D6 into a D5. I gotta be real. I keep seeing this and I can't stop thinking about it, though. Uh... And even though we have a... Here's the thing. Even though we have an empty spot there, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be honest. I think that we should put it on this one and try and save that spot, you know? I think this will be our defensive die. Let's make this a defensive die. Oh, God. Shield symbols also count as two attack symbols this turn. We could kill the troll brute. Does that still count as a shield? I'm assuming no. It does! It still does count as a shield. That's so good. Alright, so there's no penalty. Like, we can't... There's no problem here now. All right, good stuff. Can't take that damage. Oh, God, it's so cool. All right. We could, like, we could try and stay and farm money against them, though, couldn't we? But I think we get more points if we go, if we clear in more, like, quicker turns, I would imagine. Reduce the cost of every upgrade in the shop by one. I wonder if you could keep using that? That seems really good. <laughs> what is this blood? Lifesteal. Ooh. Piercing lifesteal. This, though, is a disgustingly great dice. Uh, 25% chance to attack itself, so we probably shouldn't go for that. When captured, gain a charge for all of your abilities. That's a good question. Let's re-roll this. Ah, beans. Okay, do we want to try and capture... I don't know if I care about capturing any of those ones right now. Well, I guess I could get piercing again. I could try and get piercing again. But also capturing is kind of like a kill. Oh, good. Lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right. So we're going to take the one piercing. So we're going to take only one damage, though. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, I want to get some money, though. Because I would like to get that. Okay. All right. Fine. Where the light, like the life steal with the piercing, is really nice. We could get this down to the a three cost. We can make it so these both cost one. That sounds really fun. Oh, that seems really good too, though. It's this is just tough. All right, let's go get piercing on you. All right. Uh. And then let's try and get the ability to... Uh, oh, boy. Well, this counts as an attack. The fang does count as an attack. And then maybe we can find a capture ability that works well with a defensive die. I, I know that, like, we don't have to do that, you know? I get that. That we don't have to make one die defensive die, one die an aggro die, but... All right, so we got an extra charge for our abilities. pretty bad okay so we have a kill we get gems this seems like a good enough reason to to, to cash out there I could shield bash this I guess if we really if we wanted to spend a gem on it uh, then that's a gem we could spend on bargain but we are running out of bargain anyway so let's just do it because then next turn we might be able to do it preach capture target enemy with attack one or health one 
in a random empty die. If there's no empty dice, a random capture is replaced. Hmm. Does this give us two max HP? Two current HP. I hate that I chose that then, in hindsight. They could attack themselves. I feel like we can do better. I can I can happily work with that. Happily, 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 happily. That's a no damage round right there. Oof. It's fun to see. We would end up we would end up taking damage. Unless we shield bashed. Which we can do. Or wait, we would take damage anyways, but I'm gonna go for that. I want money! I want money! Donkey! Uh we have an empty spot over there. I'm liking the idea of adding that slapper on there. Or just or It's expensive though. Uh I kinda wanna get this and put it here, but then we still have this empty spot here that really should be changed and upgraded. That does make more sense. Oh well. I need money. All right, come on. All right, that works for me. Failed. It's okay. It's okay. Should we bargain just to make it cheaper if we're going to buy it anyways? Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's not the one I was looking at anyways. Okay. Uh, Yeah, here's the thing. I, I probably should put it here, right? Like, that, that would make sense. But having it on the three piercing damage would be really good, and this guarantees. If I do this right here, we will definitely always roll an attack every single turn, no matter what. We will, we will always, always, without fail, roll one attack at the very least. Okay. Okay tax itself. I was kind of like low-key hoping we took a little bit more damage ourselves. Uh, so this is going to be one damage. That's two damage. Yeah, we can, can risk it a little bit. There, we get ourselves a heal back. Guaranteed capture, basically. Alright, and we gain a charge for all of our abilities. Ah, oh, when it hits zero, it's gone for good. That is interesting. We are doing terrible for scores, so let's um, let's start going for some more. It's the Beast Rider. Oh my god! I mean, I can just kill him. He's gone. Level up. Because we have three piercing damage. That's what I'm telling you. Max health increased by three. Let's go. Okay, so we can do four damage here. I feel like it makes the most sense to probably slap that on these guys right here. Or on that guy right there who's going to do that damage. It's going to be real feisty. We're going to take a total of one damage this turn. A total of one damage. Hardly a problem. We rolled the, fi uh, the, the the flat fake die there. Would we have been better off just keeping that? What the hell? Okay, so we have... We have a kill. It's good enough. I could shield bash to kill you, but there well, I don't know what the point would be. I'm not gonna take damage anyways. Woo! Okay, so we did bad because we didn't go for a lot of score end of wave bonuses. Defeated enemies, so you get more. You get a little bit of extra score for saving gold. You get a little bit of extra score for opening chests, defeating enemies. I mean, we defeated as many enemies as we could. So it really does seem like uh, the end of wave streaking bonus is really, really high on the, uh, the value front there. Uh, we unlocked a new character, the ninja. Die power unlock. You're telling me that we have not even had all of the die powers? 
Oh. Whoa. Stunning attack. They can now have stunning attack. Stun monster, skip an attack. All classes can now learn ninja's abilities. New relic unlocked the wisdom tome. Oh my god. Uh, where do I go to see how many... Uh, I don't know if there's a way we can see how many different... Um, blah, 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 blah. How many different die faces there are that we haven't unlocked. Because that's really interesting. Alright, but we're obviously going to play as the ninja. What's he do? He's got uh, he's got less HP? No, he's got more HP. He has a different type of gem. He has a red gem. Okay. What is this? All abilities have 50% 50 50 more charges. Stun all enemies. Deal one damage to target enemy. 50% chance to gain a red gem back. Oh, that's kind of nice. I want to go for the money for real this time, though. And let's go to the vampire nest. Class records next star 200. Okay. So, yeah, we need to get a certain amount of stars. And there's 40 available stars because there's seven. Or wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. There's eight available characters. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And you can get a maximum of five stars on all of them. This is... This is this is great. Like, I, I this this is this is like I, this is hitting everything for me. Except, except except the visuals. This is hitting everything for me. Uh, the strategic elements in this are what I've ooh ooh what I've always wanted in in like a, a tactical roguelike. This is so good. This is so good. Um. Okay, so we have two slots here. We get... By going to the Vampire Nest, we actually open up an extra Relic slot. So I will take the extra gold gain, and then, you know what? I'll take the Tome of Wisdom. Let's go on in. I can't believe this is free. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Uh, all right. So this is now chained. Resources and attacks on this face are multiplied by the number of chains on all currently rolled faces. Okay, so if we get a lot of chains, even if we have a low amount of base base ones there. Okay, so we, we it's like a combo. That I mean that that makes sense for like a ninja to have here. Uh, shuriken, what is this here? Fearing attack adds fear instead of dealing damage. Okay, so we probably want them gone, like, big time. Step one, let's roll our die. Not what I was hoping for. This is a stunning attack. Stun enemies... Stun enemies damaged by this face don't attack this turn. I mean, that seems really good. We could We could get that if we purchase right now. Oh my god, we got the gem back. Nice. Okay, so if we get really lucky, we could just keep on jamming that out. That's, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, with this knowledge, I'm going to re-roll. See if we can... We got to take it. Nice. Okay, good. We got the chest. That's going to be extra points as well. Uh, extra money. I kind of want to get this stun, but also it does seem like a good idea to have some more defensive capabilities. There's nowhere we can put this that's going to... It's going to not take up a sword slot unless we go right here, which does take up a chain slot. So do we want to willingly sacrifice a sword so that we can try and get more chains while still getting more defensive? This is a this is a fun question to me. It is. Uh, or do we want to just get a, a thing, thing stun sword that gives us potential more shuriken charges? And this is cheaper. Let's get this for now. We can maybe even uh, we can maybe even get both if we play our cards right. We could get both. 
And maybe we could do it in a way where we don't ruin things so bad. So if like we do it like this, then we can Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it like that, and then we can replace these two if we get five bucks. We can replace these two with one of those. And that's this is uh, a relatively this is a very easy thing to replace because we don't have any abilities that utilize blue gems right now. That's currently a dead a dead roll. All right, you know what? Let's go for the let's go for the streak. We're, we'll we'll push our luck a little bit here. Uh, life steal gains the health equal to the amount of damage dealt to you. We don't have any way of capturing right now. All right. We'll go for that. We'll, we'll do some shurikens. Expose weakness. Eight charges. Stun target enemy and reduce its shield by two. Or dagger flurry. Gain a reroll. Okay, cool. First of all. Stun and deal one piercing damage to a random enemy when you reroll this turn. Oh, that's so fun. That is so fun. Okay. Gain one reroll. Stun and deal one piercing damage to a random enemy whenever you reroll this turn. Uh, it's really expensive, though, and I feel like Shuriken is going to be super usable, but it will run out. Hmm. Fine. Fine. But I did that so that way I would do Smoke Bomb here. I don't really want to take the fear damage right now. All right. Well, this is going to fall off. That's okay. We'll find something else good. Okay, so th there's the chain, but it's just... Yeah, when we get level 3, that's going to be super, 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 super important. Um, we do this, we do get Shuriken. What are the odds? I feel like that was a bad idea, though. Expertise. Choose a target rollable face on your die. The next two times you re-roll, that face will be rolled. Choose target rollable face on your die. The next two times you re-roll, that face will be rolled. That is so cool. I'm going to go for the experience because I want to see if I'm right on the streak that we kind of like need to do this if we want five stars. That's a that's an interesting way of doing a difficulty system because you can still, like there's still plenty of resources while neglecting those upgrades. There's plenty of resources to still handle the situation. Oh, God. What is this? Piercing. One piercing damage. I'm going to restock for free here. Chain. Key unlocks chest and doors. Double sword and a shield. I feel like I kind of want to wait and get something better. I feel like, I feel like there is something better. I don't like this. I'll do it anyways. So we should, we're not going to hit there. Ah. Ooh, a stunned a stunned sword with chain. Now that that is a little bit more tempting. It's a little bit more tempting. I want to get some kind of damage here. Uh fine, we can definitely shuriken you. I feel like it's stupid to shuriken anymore. And I feel like we are wasting our smoke bombs here. There's eight waves. We can't get anything with that money, but that is a lot of money. God, I cannot wait until we get level three. I feel like that's when things are going to... There we go. That's when things are going to start to get spicy, spicy, spicy. I will take a piercing damage, or a, one damage to the actual face here. That's fine by me. I'll take one damage. That's fine. Sword, coin, coin, life steal, and a sword. The key sounds nice. I feel like we can do. I feel like we can do better. Also, a capture sounds fun. Ooh, there we go. When there's one left in a stun like that, we can kind of just like farm. Wave complete, choose your reward. Gain 4 XP or remove... So why can't we pick... 
why couldn't we pick our streak? Is it because we took damage? Do we have to flawless to do that? Is that what it was? That that's an interesting way of of well of keeping it fun, where you're not going along that streak path on a run where you, clearly you shouldn't because you're taking a lot of damage. That's really clever. Um. Dagger Flurry seems like a good idea. Attack is equal to your current fear, adds one fear each turn. Okay, uh, these bats gotta go, obviously. Just do it and stick with whatever we get left at the end here. Uh, so we can go attack, attack into Shuriken on you. Seems good enough for me. We take one damage. That's hardly a, hardly a big deal. He's got three HP. We take two damage. We take two damage. Still hardly that big of a deal. Okay, there's some really spicy things going on over here now. Uh, two different types of keys. And a lot of red gems. I, uh, I'm going to do it instead of the coin. If we reroll, I would assume we could maybe, we could get it now, couldn't we? Okay, uh... Does not need to be killed, has no fear. So it stays. It's not, it's, it only goes at the end of the actual, like, full wave. Alright, so... I, I do kind of have to kill him. So we're halfway through there. That was just the first... That was the first batch. Ah, we could go back to this. Is that because we... No, we, we took damage. We took a hit. Didn't we? All right, let's go for it, though. I'm gonna I'm be spicy. He's got one shield. Um, do one damage to us. I feel like that's fine. Right? I feel like it's okay. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for chain stuff. Now this is epic. Okay. Uh, I want that. So these should both do one damage. And we have the guaranteed stun there. Okay. We won't stun him, will we? Oh, this is on sale. Sale. <laughs> uh... This won't stun, will it? No, because it didn't do damage. Understandable. Makes sense. So there's... Let's see. There's a fifth... Uh, oh, no. There's... Okay. There's a 33% chance on both of those to roll a chain. I want to do this, but like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Last turn. All right. So we can kill. Do we? Yeah. Sure. We probably should have been smoke bombing, I guess, but I've been trying to save it for like a, a situation that actually feels really scary. Gain the streak. Push the luck. Push the luck. Oh my god. Okay, so this is this is going to be smoke, smoke bomb territory. We should also probably shurik, do some shuriken. Oh my god, what a bad roll for us right now. Alright, we have some bad stuff we got to get rid of. Uh, okay, so... Step one. Smoke bomb. Apparently we should have dagger flurried. Step two, then we take this. Oh my god. Fine, I'll dagger flurry. So we can maybe do some extra damage. I didn't even realize that it has stun. Oh. Wow. That's much better than I... Yeah, that's... Oh my god, that's busted. <laughs> that's busted strong. Uh, two, two coins, two... Let me get the shield, get the extra red gems back. Sure, I'm, I'm fine enough with this. Works for me. Oops. I mean, I can shuriken twice here, sure. 
I can. Sure I can. Can I do it? Sure I can. Oh, we're, we're, we're getting spicy with it. The shuriken is very a very easy choice there. Uh, I do like the fact that we could get the money. We can maybe try and get... What would we get? I guess the chain. The chain on, on a two red gem is really not that exciting because, like, what's the best scenario? It goes up to four. That's already overkill. The four swords, though. The Zelda four swords there is really spicy, and I want it so bad, but... We're running out. We don't have that much time left. I don't know if I should, at this point, care that much. Okay, so that does two damage. Two piercing. Can't re... Can't re now. Okay, it's fine. We'll take a little bit of damage. I don't think that there's a penalty to uh, score for taking damage. I mean, I can shuriken, I can dagger flurry. Well, I can't dagger flurry this turn. We could do this into smoke bomb. G getting the two gems is, is not a problem here. So there's two uses of that left. All right. I don't know why I did it. I just felt like it. Uh, I want to buy new stuff, but I'm also trying to be good. I don't want to dagger flurry this. I want to just get enough damage. Yeah, we, uh... It's a combination of unlucky and a poorly drafted hand. Oh, man. What's this? Attack multiplier. Increase your attack multiplier by one this turn for each multiplier symbol on this face. Damage you deal with non-fang attacks is multiplied by your attack multiplier. Oh, so we always have one, so that puts it at two. Ooh. Is there anywhere we could put it that would not take over a sword? This one, I guess? We're almost done. Let's just do it. The blue gems mean squat. Absolute, absolute squat. Okay, we gain a die. Nice. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of bad, but that's fine. All right. I think we. I mean, I think we go for the dagger flurry, right? I think we dagger flurry, but first we do shuriken. We've run out of shuriken. All right, re-roll. So unless we get like an amazingly spicy roll, this is pretty spicy. I could kill the Duchess right there. Right then and there. Or I could take zero damage and have him almost dead. I don't know, man. Hopefully, I, like we, I'd like to get Dagger Flurry, I guess. Okay. Three damage, piercing and lifesteal. Uh, we need to do damage. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad roll. I didn't think that there was going to be one that would be worse, but it's okay. We uh we got enough to do Dagger Flurry next turn. So, this sucks. Oh! Oh, you oh, that's right. You did take one damage. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh get the kill on you and not be worried or we could dagger flurry it's a good roll that we got there but okay can we <laughs> are you really serious there okay you're going to life steal. if i do three damage to you you're gonna life steal it back anyways so i guess we just uh we accept this uh-oh all right, one, two, three, four, five. Do we have it? We do have a stunning die. We can't buy anything new if we go for this. There's two chances at a stunning die. Now there we go. That's what we've been building up to. Oh, what a way to end it out there. 
Oh, baby, get the hell out of here. Like, could you imagine this? Like, the, the attack multiplier, too, with the, the chain effect on it? Oh, shoot. Four stars. Still. Still good. New class, high score. New scenario, high score. Uh, opening more chests would have done it. Uh, we There was that one turn where we couldn't take the end of wave bonus, and I don't know why. I don't know why why I didn't. Is it because I took fear damage? Is it is that what it is? You don't get it if you take fear damage? Like the damage that leaks through? I, I must have missed that. That may just... I don't know. We have unlocked the elementalist magic attack die. Die faces now have magic attack. Spend red, red gems for double damage. Die faces can now have wild gems. Wild gems can be used as gems of any color. Elementalist abilities have been unlocked. Unlock the Forgotten Island scenario. The Trapper's Mantle. Traps have a twenty extra 20% chance uh, to capture. Used traps are replaced. Oh, used traps are replaced with a fang attack, so they're not initially garbage. There's so many artifacts to start with, and they really do change things quite a bit. Uh, and the characters certainly feel very different from each other uh, as well. Oh my goodness, golly gee. Uh, so it looks like... Oh, okay, so that's... Tutorial, tutorial only has five because it can only be done with the cleric there. Uh, wow. That was an hour? <laughs> that is um, truly, truly crazy. Um, anywho, with it, this all being done and said, like, play this game. Talk about this game. Let people know about it. Like, this is, it's it's certainly a don't judge a book by its cover thing. It, like, it has programmer art, for sure. Uh, it's like the U, the UI, the music is, it, is actually not too bad. It's just like the sampling of it, I think, is maybe like a little bit lower, lower quality. Uh, but like, if this got shipped to a team to like do a, a, a facelift on it, you know, like with, with flashy, fun uh, visuals to it, I did, like, I'll be honest, 20 minutes in, I wasn't thinking about it anymore, but, like, that doesn't, I mean, for for this to pop off, if the, if those things got changed, like, I don't think we would hear the end of this game for people who are fans of uh, strategic roguelikes, like deck builder roguelikes, uh, turn-based roguelikes, just of, of all kinds. This game has so much to it uh, that is very clever, very, very clever, and I... I I need I need to play more of this. I don't know I don't know if we if we uh will get enough excitement to do a series or not. Uh but I'm definitely playing more of this. This has the potential. This is a this is a game that you can get for free on itch.io. You can click the link in the top of the description. You can you can get it for free or you can help pay uh to support the project. If this makes it to Steam with a facelift, I think that you are going to be a wealthy, wealthy individual. I genuinely think so. Uh, but alas, that is that. That is going to do it for today. I cannot recommend this game enough. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. If this is the kind of game, the genre that you are into, please do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Do a subscribe. That is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Bye.